let's shift to the master in fashion tech. So master in fashion tech is uh, younger for sure, and uh, it came um, on with uh, the natural shift that uh, the world and the fashion sector is going through. So um, where does uh, innovation come from today? So if you need to think about fashion, uh, where does uh, new things, new projects, new idea come from? So an important, uh, um, in, an important uh, um, way of generating innovation today in fashion, as I was saying before, is for sure uh, the contamination. So cross-fertilizing uh, the field of fashion with uh, other uh, fields. So I mentioned before the idea of uh, cross-fertilizing it uh, with uh, other influences. So we've been uh, fashion has been doing this since a very long time, since the very beginning. So the idea of getting inspiration from other fields, other world, but also other geographies. So the master in fashion tech comes from uh, uh, the shift that uh, um, the world is going through, which is the one of the digital technologies. So digital technologies, new materials, performative materials. So it really comes from this idea of working in that very field, which is the merger between fashion and the one of performances, the one of activewear, sportswear. So uh, the one of uh, um, where the, the, the materials, the technologies need to be really performative and uh, uh, functional. So, um, so the overall idea is this. I'm going to open now the presentation. One second. Okay, here. So I'm very happy because I can see that Professor Botti managed to join the conversation. Let me open up the presentation. Okay. So, uh, so I'm very happy that Professor Botti joined. So as I was saying before, I am uh, uh, the tutor and coordinator of the master, but uh, Professor Maurizio Botti that joined now, uh, not only will be part of the, um, let's say, teaching, uh, um, uh, teaching staff uh, of the master in accessory design, but she is also the uh, technical director of uh, the master in fashion tech. And she has a very significant experience uh, within uh, the field of, uh, uh, of, of fashion tech, of technology, of sportswear. So she's innovator, innovation manager and uh, R&D consultant in the technical textile sector, as well as uh, the sportswear fashion. So, uh, so this for us is really important because, uh, as I was saying before at the beginning of the presentation, the idea of linking the necessity and the needs of the market uh, is important, uh, yes, for the, the master in accessory design, but is also very important, as you might see, for the master in fashion tech. So Professor Botti really works uh, uh, between the academic field and uh, the one of, uh, uh, of the market, of the companies. And uh, she is uh, uh, very, um, very good at understanding also which are the new trends and the new requests that come from the market. So for example, uh, this new edition, this is going to be the second edition, will be thematically different, of course, from uh, the previous edition we had, because, uh, as you can imagine, uh, the needs of the market has uh, changed radically from uh, what happened uh, before COVID-19. So, uh, so really, we are, uh, as much as possible, to link the challenges of the project and the work and the workshops and uh, the teaching content of the master uh, to what uh, is uh, happening to the field of uh, fashion today. Um, 
So, as I was saying, um, what, what is the idea? The idea is really to uh, come from uh, what is the athletic gesture of uh, the, the athlete in, uh, in, um, in, the, um, in the field to the one of fashion. So, fashion gets contaminated with uh, function, the uh, new material, the functionality, the performance of uh, active wear, as well as active wear brings uh, the style and the uh, attention to details uh, of fashion. So the master really takes its roots and its uh, DNA on this very specific idea. So it really is uh, rooted into this uh, uh, exchange uh, exchanges from uh, these two different fields. Um, so we will deal with uh, contamination of, uh, as I said, sport uh, and fashion, aesthetics and functionalities, uh, competition, so what is really needed to be performative, as well as leisure wearable technologies and also interactive products because of course uh, now fashion tech uh, uh, really covers a very wide range of products actually not only products but also services because you know when you deal with interactive for example interactive materials and uh, interactive products uh, such as the wearable technologies as well as for example 3d manufacturing in this case, you also working with uh, products as well as services uh, that can create an interaction and uh, an added value for the consumer. Of course, we're also working on sustainability. This is another very important aspect of this very master. So, of course, when we're talking about the challenges of today, uh, sustainability has a significant role uh, in addressing our interest uh, while uh, uh, designing the master. So, here we are. So, as I said, uh, um, here at Politecnico, we train designers uh, and we train designers uh, able to work uh, both in sportswear and activewear, um, but also all other areas that uh, um, where the ability of combining technical materials, new technology and performance is required. Um, it's, really, it's really interesting to uh, see that uh, our, the topics that the master covers are in a sense wide and they move from very functional and performative such as the one uh, of activewear, for example, but also we work in the field of uh, lifestyle. So really uh, cherry picking uh, the best of activewear and performances to contaminate the normal wear, like outerwear and uh, everyday life wear. Um, so what will people do when uh, uh, moving out of uh, uh, the, graduating from the master? So um, the professional will be able to work in the field of, of course, sportswear, but also competitive wear. And uh, they can either work uh, uh, within the very, let's say, preliminary phase of uh, the uh, design process. So work with uh, material research, uh, but also technologies and textile. They can become uh, designer, both on women's wear or men's wear, um, sportswear design, but also underwear design, interactive beachwear. As you can see, they're very different fashion and garment technologies and cut designers. In this very field, more than any other field, it's important to be very, very flexible and uh, uh, we are trying to promote and form as much as possible professionals that are hybrid, that are able to uh, work with uh, different other professionals within uh, the project. Why am I saying this? Of course, uh, more than other fields, uh, the one of fashion tech uh, requires highly specialized uh, professional figures. So you will not be working alone, you will be working in team and you will be working with expertises, um, with, with experts coming from uh, um, other fields like engineering, for example, or I don't know, like marketing uh, scientists. 
so material scientists. So it will be really important to develop uh, um, those soft skills that will allow you to communicate and share languages with other professionals. At Politecnico, we are also working on academic research in this field, and we are really uh, we we uh, really think that this will be uh, an important figure of uh, the the years and the decades to come. Um, so, um, how is this? How does the the workshop uh, uh, work? The workshop is mostly structured like uh, the ones uh, uh, the one of accessory design. So, as that one, as the one of accessory design, it will be one year long. So, you will start uh, the end of November, and we'll have then uh, one year total to close the master, to finish the master. One phase will be developed in a way like didactic, so in school, and one part will be dedicated to the internship. The didactic part is then divided again into three parts. So a theory part dedicated to sportswear, so the theory about like getting to know the field, specific lesson dedicated to new materials, new technologies, wearables, brands and markets, I mean, all that uh, information that will allow you to be able to move uh, within the field. Then again, uh, you will have uh, the tools part. Same, uh, of course, the tools will be different. You will be working with uh, um, digital modeling. Uh, in this case, we work with Cloud 3D. Um, then graphics as well. Uh, so, of course, you need to be able to manage properly the graphic tools uh, in order to be able to um, broadcast your idea and deliver your ideas. Photography. Um, workshops. Uh, then, of course, the main part will be dedicated to the workshops uh, as in the previous, in the previous course I, I described. So, uh, in this case, the workshops will be five. Uh, you will have one dedicated to fashion tech lifestyle, active wear, sportswear, performance sportswear, interactive fashion. As I was saying before, this each and every workshop will be giving you a different perspective on the use, uh, on the contamination among fashion, so aesthetics, uh, and uh, uh, performances, new materials and technology. Some of them will be addressed uh, uh, to a specific uh, field um, and have a specific challenge. For example, I don't know, really thinking about a new solution to develop, uh, I don't know, material that uh, are ap applying material that are highly um, trans transpirable breathable uh, and applying them to uh, an actual collection or they can be more oriented to the laser. So uh, developing something that, yes, has uh, uh, exploits the use of uh, smart materials, for example, but then can be applied to norm, like everyday wear. One very important uh, thing about the workshops uh, is the fact that uh, as the one before, as the master in uh, um, accessory design will be guided by a professional and uh, most of the time uh, each workshop will be coupled by a company. This is really important because not only you will have a committee like a professional uh, really giving you your perspective but also you will be facing a challenge based activities starting from the actual need of a company. So uh, this, of course, is really important because uh, it's not like you are designing uh, um, coming like out of the blue, but as we are really trying as much as possible to face what the fashion tech market is going through, working with a company for sure give you uh, an actual idea on what the challenges are. Um, the uh, workshops uh, are a little bit longer than the one in, of accessory design because, of course, they're five and they last uh, one week and a half because, of course, uh, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, the idea of uh, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, highly specialized topics. And uh, 
because of uh, the um, complexity of the topic, we will ask you also most of the time to work in groups. Um, each and every one, each and every student will then be have uh, their own uh, uh, freedom in the sense that they will be able to have a, a specific part within the project but we also are since it is so much important you know, important for professional in these fields in this field of collaborating to really um, take the most out of uh, the exchange among uh, the partners in the group then after this phase you will go so as the other one you will have first day launch of the brief uh, with the company and then uh, each and every day you will go through reviews uh, and the work uh, in class uh, with the, uh, the professional and your uh, classmates and then on the last day you will have a presentation in front of uh, uh, of your of your colleagues and of the professors and the company uh, holding the brief or holding the workshop after this phase after the um, phase dedicated to the workshops you will have uh, uh, the one dedicated to presentation and portfolio so being a this will be individual and you will have to develop your own portfolio highlighting which are the contribution you actually uh, gave to the single uh, projects and the single workshops then uh, you will have uh, a phase uh, an, in an interview with uh, uh, the master committee to understand which are your skills, uh, which are your, desi your um, desires in terms of uh, um, placement, and we will try to, to match you with a company of uh, uh, our network. Um, then you will still have the 400 hours internships, uh, uh, internship with a company. And uh, after this, uh, at the end of the entire process, uh, you will have the final presentation in front of, uh, again, your, uh, your colleagues and uh, in front of a scientific committee. What is also very important about this master is that uh, Professor Botti um, really um, has a significant idea on what uh, is important for students uh, and uh, um, she really has an eye on what is in the going on in the market and uh, she uh, she really um, creates different uh, occasions of exchanges also with uh, professionals like guests uh, athletes but also companies uh, lecturing uh, at uh, Polytechnico at Polydesign we try uh, usually we do it in the first phase of the master this year will be a little bit different because first part will be done uh, digitally but uh, uh, we will definitely also maybe shift some visits in the second part of uh, the the course so from february on but also we can uh, uh, schedule some appointments some meetings uh, online uh, also to avoid the, the 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 physical distance let's say um Yes, as I was saying, so first part, uh, because of this actual situation due to COVID-19, uh, Polydesign has decided to, uh, in order to allow everyone to be safe and not to be worried about uh, this educational uh, um, process and phase, to have uh, the first part uh, done digitally. So from uh, November to the end of uh, January, um, digital, so the part dedicated to theoretical lessons and uh, the tools um, done online, and then the second part of the workshops done with uh, um, blended uh, mode. So, which means that we welcome students to come over uh, at our campus, but if uh, they won't be able to, to do it, to move from their own country, to do it online as well. Um, so I said already why choosing the master in fashion tech, uh, of course, uh, it is one of the very few master uh, that uh, uh, offered uh, all over the world to this uh, topic. 
we have the chance of uh, hosting it uh, at Politecnico di Milano, which is one of uh, um, the most important uh, um, institutions, academic institutions, work in the field of uh, research <clears throat> in terms of innovation for engineering, architecture and design. We get the benefit of, uh, you know, working along with the research that are conducted within the academic uh, context, but also the interesting part of being able to uh, be coupled with uh, the challenges given by the actual market. So uh, it's a cherry and uh, um, it's also, you know, very ahead uh, on uh, the, the, the offer. So. This is definitely the reason why. Uh, so we are now working with uh, different companies uh, which are both national and international. We work with Slam, we work with Decathlon, Saleva, Colmar. We have uh, different companies we are in touch with uh, and that are interesting in bringing further this, uh, uh, this research and uh, let's say scientific and didactic conversation. Um, so, um, as the, the master in accessory design, for us, uh, the contamination, not only of different fields, not only of different expertises, uh, but also from different, uh, you know, um, cultural pr perspectives is uh, fundamental and crucial. So, uh, we, the master, of course, will be in English. We uh, welcome students from all over the world as we are aware of the fact that uh, one of the main uh, pillars of this master is really the one of uh, um, fostering the contaminations from uh, different parts, uh, different parties, different students, different uh, uh, backgrounds. As for the Master in Accessory Design, we uh, are asking to uh, receive uh, uh, some formal documents, uh, such as uh, the CV, the motivational letter, the portfolio of projects you have been developing uh, to hold a bachelor degree. Um, and also after, after this, uh, um, the, the process of receiving all these materials, we will uh, go through uh, um, an interview where you will have, we we'll discuss together your, uh, your background, your interests, uh, your motivations uh, related to the course itself and, uh, uh, and your projects. And then uh, you uh, will be uh, selected by the commission and uh, uh, that will, and then you will get, we will get in touch with you after the, uh, the interview. So as before, I think I'm uh, done. If you have uh, questions, uh, I will be very happy to, um, to reply. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Susanna. Thank you so much for everyone, to everyone who's uh, connected. Um, we are in the second part of our digital uh, open days. Uh, and the presentation that you just heard was about the fashion tech specializing masters. Uh, we're now going to address a few questions that we have lined up. That's okay. So, um, the first question maybe is, what if a person doesn't have a portfolio? Can they still apply? Okay, so um, Elisa, do you want to, to take this question? I mean, usually we really encourage this uh, because uh, of course the fact of having a portfolio, even if you didn't really go through a design process, uh, I mean a design education path, uh, for us, uh, the fact that at least uh, you tried and you, um, I don't know, worked on even a specific project uh, for the master is of course uh, something that uh, we give value to. Um, I don't know if it is uh, so like strict, uh, the fact that they need to have specifically a portfolio to, uh, to apply. Well, maybe it's uh, uh, not a 100%, uh, I would say, mandatory requirement. Um, 
meaning that uh, in case uh, a candidate uh, has uh, a different background uh, that is not, for example, in design or architecture, and so mainly they, they uh, didn't approach, let's say, the, the, the project before, uh, of course, it's not strictly mandatory. Uh, of course, if uh, your background uh, is, uh, is in a different field from the formal point of view, that is mainly, uh, that is more the, the one that I, um, that I deal with, uh, you need to have, uh, of course, uh, a bachelor degree that is recognized in the Italian system and that's the formal point of view. Uh, but, uh, um, of course, most probably uh, the board will have to take into consideration your profile and which are your skills and why you are applying for uh, uh, for the master in case of course uh, um, you, you don't have uh, a, um, a background in uh, in design and architecture because maybe there are of course some skills that uh, apart from the fact of having an accepted bachelor degree you need to have in order to 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 face to approach the the master in the, in the best way maybe susanna uh, if uh, for example a candidate as a as a different background maybe you you can explain a little bit more what uh, is required from them to uh, to be active on let's say okay so for sure um I mean, if you feel like uh, this is really like what you're interested in, uh, I would recommend to at least uh, present a project uh, that you develop uh, specifically for the master because uh, it, give, it underlines uh, the interest in applying for sure. Then, uh, I mean, we will see that, for example, if you have uh, uh, studied engineering, uh, since we are really welcoming people coming from field of engineering, field of, uh, I don't know, science as well, uh, as well as the one of fashion, we understand that maybe they haven't developed a portfolio. But uh, mm, of course, uh, I mean, a, a specific portfolio on fashion, for example. But uh, uh, we really ask you to give motivations uh, on uh, uh, the fact that uh, you really are interested in applying and that you are also the right person for joining. So, so uh, for sure then uh, will be really needed that uh, if you don't know how to use, uh, uh, I don't know, graphic programs or uh, not mainly graphic programs, uh, you needed at least to have uh, um, a little bit of a background uh, going through tutorials uh, lessons before starting because uh, i mean it would be it would be a shame otherwise because uh, um, in order to get the most out of these workshops you need to have uh, all the proper tools as i said we will give you lessons on this but uh, imagining uh, to have uh, three days, uh, three full days on graphics, of course, uh, you will get uh, of knowledge on it uh, and you will get some skills, but uh, if you already have uh, um, an idea and uh, on, on how to, to, to cope with them, uh, it will be really beneficial for you to get the most out of uh, uh, the workshops, which are very intense uh, and uh, will require for you to really focus also on the design and research aspects uh, and not only on the graphic one, which is only a tool for you. Great. Um, the same person was asking, what could the portfolio include? So I guess they're asking, does it have to be very technical? Can it be sketches as well? Can it be notes? Uh, what sort of thing are you looking for? Yeah, so what we value on uh, as the one in accessory design is uh, um, explaining a project. So we need to understand how you would logically develop a project. So starting from a brief, so a, um, I don't know, like an idea, okay, going through a research, okay, um, an inspirational board, some sketches, and uh, and uh, the, the prototype if you want. I mean, it's not like we are acquiring those specific things. It's really up to you. But we uh, value the the, ration, the, um, the logic behind the project development. 
Um, and uh, would there be any courses prior to the master that you could suggest uh, people enroll in? How can they prepare for this type of masters? Okay, so now we are also working on a repository online, which uh, can be a, a tool <laughs> to, to get uh, used to that, to get some insights already. Then, Elisa, um, what should I reply to you? I mean, for sure, internet is a very good choice. So if you want to just, you know, Google and look for tutorials on, for example, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, quite sure that you will find uh, tips uh, and uh, you can do it as uh, autodidact. autodidact. How do you say it? I don't know. I mean, self-learned. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, there are also more structured courses uh, in terms of uh, Adobe. Do we offer it at Polydesign? Yes, there are some, and also for Rino, there are some courses and so on. Okay. Uh, sure, I guess, uh, I mean, it's much more uh, a matter of uh, uh, suggesting than, uh, the, 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 uh, I mean, suggesting the, the candidates, also the, the, the topics that they, they think, because uh, I think we are, um, the, the, the person who is uh, asking is um, a person not having a design background, so mainly that's why. Okay, so uh, for sure, graphic programs. So Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe InDesign. Uh, and I think for the Master in Fashion Tech, uh, this, is, this is fine. Um, but of course, uh, if you have specific requests, uh, uh, more, you know, specific to your background, uh, I will be very happy to schedule even a call uh, and to discuss more in detail your specific uh, request or issue because uh, maybe I can give you uh, like a more specific advice uh, and, uh, and target it to, to your need. Thank you, Susanna. Um, speaking of uh, continuing on the, on the program subject, uh, somebody was asking if SolidWorks and Blender can act as a good alternative to learn or develop projects rather than Rhino? Yeah, sure. We teach uh, at school, we teach, uh, um, we teach Rhino because it's easy, like it's just, you know, easier. We've been doing it uh, and we have the licenses, but uh, Blender is also like an amazing tool, also solid work. So if you already have, uh, if you're already familiar with this, we welcome you to also use those programs you already have the knowledge on. Okay, um, and about deadlines of, can somebody apply if they're not graduated yet? There was somebody asking as well, um, if because of COVID they have a delay in their degree, can they still mm. apply without having their final marks yet? Well, mainly uh, at the moment, they may uh, start filling the application uh, on the link that uh, um, that Susanna provided at the end of the presentation that is mainly uh, in the application part uh, of, uh, uh, of our website. So mainly uh, there in the link, uh, you can, let's say, choose the the option of not being graduated yet and so mainly uh, the, the, the part about the certificate of graduation or bachelor degree scanning is, uh, is erased automatically and so mainly you can process uh, the application. Of course uh, before the starting date you must have completed everything also because it's something that we need to um, evaluate and so mainly if you don't have a bachelor uh, at the moment uh, we will probably ask you to uh, provide uh, uh, a scanning of the transcript and so on in order to check uh, if uh, your, uh, um, I mean, if the uh, university that you are currently attending uh, is recognized and uh, let's say um, making the formal uh, verification. But of course you may start uh, applying anyway so that, I mean, at least you can uh, start having the, the, the selection interview with the, with the master board also in order to, to understand uh, if uh, your profile is suitable and if of course the master matches which are the, 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 your objective uh, from uh, objectives from the professional point of view. Thank you so much, Elisa. Um, 
uh, a person asking if they could um, take courses outside of the main curriculum. So for example, if they were interested in biomechanical approaches, would they be able to take additional courses? I mean, this very course, I don't know how much mix and match is. Uh, so, mm, it is even this one, I don't know. I mean, I, you mean going at Politecnico di Milano and taking single courses probably, is that the question? Because at Polydesign, I don't think we offer, I, I, don't, I don't know if they can also mix and match for another course. There, I mean, not mainly. Um, Mainly, as from the uh, the structure of the master uh, is the one that you may find on uh, the rectoral degree of approval, and it's quite fixed uh, in terms of uh, CFU and uh, um, teaching units that uh, you will attend during the master itself. So it's quite uh, strict, let's say, from uh, from that point of view in terms of curricular activities. Uh, for uh, um, this edition of the master, mainly uh, there are going to be also some, uh, let's say, elective courses that you will be able, uh, um, elective lectures and contents that you will be able to uh, attend online that are part of other masters. So mainly, uh, if you get enrolled in the master, you will receive a list of courses uh, that uh, um, mainly you can attend. Uh, you won't receive extra uh, CFU that are the, the, the university credits. So you won't receive extra um, credits, university credits for uh, the, 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 the elective courses or elective activities that you would attend, but uh, you would receive an open an open badge to, um, let's say, to prove also from, uh, also in the professional world that you have attended those courses and so on. And so a sort of confirmation, official confirmation from that side. Great. So that's the, the, the option that we have. Okay. Um, we have a person who is skilled in digital marketing and branding. Would that be of any value to the program? Yeah, sure, definitely. So, I mean, the, the different, uh, I'd say, souls of the fashion techs, of the fashion tech come from fashion, design, uh, engineering, and also marketing. So definitely the idea of already knowing and having some background in terms of that uh, would be beneficial for the master itself. Then, of course, I remember that the focus is very much uh, design-oriented. So the perspective will be the one of the fashion design. So designing, like learning how to design mainly. Right. Uh, maybe our, our last question. Uh, how many students are taken in the course usually? How big is the cohort? It, it really depends on the years and it really depends uh, uh, on, on different things. So the maximum is 25, right? Uh, 25 yes. maximum and it can really vary from uh, 10, 12, 15 uh, and 20 and we also had uh, years where we had also 25 people joining so it really depends on uh, the the master uh, fashion tech and accessory design uh, and the, for the fashion, for fashion tech this is the second edition so uh, it's still a little bit younger and uh, we had last edition, it was around uh, uh, 10 people there, a little bit more, yeah. Great. So this is also a very good way, you know, to actually 12, uh, to have 12 people, to have people uh, um, to have, you know, customized uh, also approach uh, for uh, each and every student. So. Wonderful. And um, finally, we have a student who would be interested in getting in touch uh, and uh, having a more uh, individual. Okay, I think Elisa has just uh, contacted her. So I think this is the end of uh, our presentation. Um, thank you so much to everyone who was connected. And thank you so much to Susanna Testa and Elisa. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you very much.